Wings are back, bitches! Woo! Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. And thanks to Titan Season 1 and 2, today we're making this. That's right, it's a Titans title card template episode. Now gang, I actually just finished watching Titans Season 2 on Netflix, like, last night, and was... thoroughly underwhelmed, but... I made this thing anyway, so let's jump into it. Now in order to complete this, you need to head to filmlearning.com slash downloads and grab the Titans title template download pack, which contains everything you need to complete this title card template, including the fonts. And also good news, this works in Cinema 4D and Cinema 4D Lite. So if you do have a copy of After Effects CC 2014 or higher, this is gonna work. All right, enough jibber jabber. Let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and we're not going to be here for long because much like our Crisis template, there is literally nothing to customize in here. Everything that happens in this particular title template happens in Cinema 4D. So let's just quickly jump into the title template and just see what's going on here. You can see we've got some flare animation here. If I just jump over. So we've got some flare animation, we've got some lightning. That's already ready to go. We've got a couple of blue solids that are acting as colorizing flares. We've got an adjustment layer just here that's got a little bit of glow on it. And then we have our rendered title text and a background layer that kicks in around about this point here. So everything's sort of all done and ready to go. All you've really got to do is just drop your rendered file in right here and then just everything works. This is the beauty of this title template. All you have to do is just customize the text in Cinema 4D and you're good to go. How about I shut up, we highlight our Cinema 4D file, we head up to edit, we head to edit original, and we open up Cinema 4D and let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Cinema 4D and let's just check out a little bit of a preview. Okay, so our first T comes in, then we've got the I, then the other T. And then the A and BAM texture changes, that's where the flash of lightning is. You can see we have a custom DC logo there. Another flash coming up and then the texture changes one more time. Now, there's a lot going on behind the scenes on each of these letters. So, for example, if we just head back to the start, you can see there's a different texture on here. And then when we get to the A, when we pan out, there's yet another texture on there. And then, bam, when that happens, that's another texture. And then it fades down, and there's one more texture. So, there's essentially four textures on three, no, four of these letters, and then these ones just have three. And guess what? Each one of these textures, you can import your own pictures if you feel like it. Now, it's really easy to do. So, for example, if we want to import our own picture onto, say, this first letter, we just go down here to T1, click on it, head to Luminance, and we can import our own picture right here. Now, if you want to import a PNG sequence, that's fine. Just import whatever picture you want, and if you need to change the placement of it, what you need to do is click on the texture, click on it, the extrude object, and then come over here to the texture mode. And in here is where you can move that around. Now I'm just gonna control Z that. You're much better off just clicking on multi-view mode, going to front and just zooming out. Now when you're here is where it's much easier to move around or scale it. But that's the basic gist of how you're going to import your own texture if you want to change these up at all. And that's par for the course with every single one of these textures. So if I say move forward to this point here where we've got all of the textures, if we want to change anything at all here, Say we want to change this Nightwing texture, same thing applies. Click on it, click on the extrude, you're in texture mode, 
and you can now use these controls to move that around. So if you say import your own picture, you now have the ability to scale it up or down, rotate it around and move it around within the scene until it fits your letter the way you'd like. And once again, same thing applies for the final texture as well. All you need to do is just find it and you can see that our texture mode changes one more time and then you can feel free to move it around. It really is that easy. You can import videos into these. It's just a matter of clicking on them. And if you want, you can change that up. It's all in the Luminance channel. All you have to do is just load your own image. Okay, so we've talked about the texturing and importing your own textures a little bit. So let's talk about how you customize this because it's really pretty easy. Let's start with the uh, logo here. I'm just going to say type in DC. And then we'll get to customizing the Titans text as well. So also really easy guys. All you got to do is just click on the text file and change it. Click on the next one and unchange it. Click on the next one and change it. And you can see they're getting a bit messed up, but that's okay. And we'll click on the next one and change it. Click on this last one and change it. And we've gone from Titans to Grants in about five seconds. So now we've got to adjust them, which is super, super easy, guys. Just like with the crisis text, they're all embedded inside null objects. So all you can do is just click on the null object and move it over a little bit. That's pretty good. And we'll move this one over. Just so they butt up nicely. Move that over. And then we'll move this one over here. And finally, I'm going to move that over there. Now you can see we're off center by a fair bit. So all we've got to do to adjust that is just click on the Titans text. We're just going to move that over so it centers up. That looks pretty good. Now you can see that our textures all still look fine, but if you need to adjust them, just use the method that I just mentioned previously. So let's just check out a preview of that. Not bad. I mean, the only downfall is that by changing the text, our camera is not directly in the center when it pans out, but you can see that our textures both change at the same time. So when the lightning strike hits, we're not going to have any problem. If you want to adjust the camera, by all means do it. You can change the keyframes here, but I'd just recommend against it unless you're a real stickler. I'd leave the camera exactly the way it is because it, yeah, it's really... It's only if you're a stickler for wanting to hone in on one letter. So I do have one issue now that I've uh, changed this. You can see that this texture breaks just here. So what I'm going to do is I'll do exactly what I said with the material. I'm just going to click on the texture, click on the extrude object, go in the texture mode, and we'll just go into this mode here, and I'm just going to bring that texture up like so. We might move a little bit further back over here and maybe scale it up. You can see it gets a little bit convoluted, but that's okay. I've scaled it up and then I'm just gonna position it so we can see that cross a little bit more clearly. Excellent. So now when we pan past, you can see that cross pretty clearly. And we might just move it up a little bit so that when it pans out, you don't see the seam of the texture. So, okay, that's pretty good. We'll just check the next one. And that syringe is sort of right in the middle there. So what we can do is just click that. Click the letter. Just move that up and maybe move it across fantastic and you can see that the robin texture is a little bit messed up so we'll also fix that by clicking that clicking 
the extrude. We might move that over like that so that it goes there. Fantastic. Alright, so let's check out a preview now. Pan across, there's our robin texture, there's our syringe, there's our cross. I'm hitting to the center. We dolly out. And bam. It all works very nicely. Now, I did notice that she's a little bit obscured in the T here. So what we can do in that situation is just click on our raven texture and just move her over a little bit. Nice. Okay, so now it's just a matter of saving that and we'll jump into After Effects and finish this off. Okay gang, here we are back in After Effects and I've imported my newly customized Cinema 4D file. So all I'm going to do is just drag and drop that into a comp, let it load up, and we'll just jump along the timeline just so we can see the letters. Bam. And then all we've got to do is head over to render settings and turn it from software to standard final. We'll let that load once more. Okay, so everything's looking just fine. So what we're going to do is just hit Control M to add that to the render queue. Head down to lossless. Check on QuickTime. And we're going to select RGB plus alpha. Hit OK. Head over here, hit render, render that, import it back in, and we'll finish this bad boy off. All right, guys, I've got my newly rendered grand file imported and ready to go. I'm going to head down to Titan's template. And with our Titan's text selected just down here, I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to drag and drop this right here. Bam. Now, if we just head along here, you can see it's auto updated and we're done. If we go over to final and just check out a preview, everything should work just fine. And there we go, my friends. And that is another titled card template episode. Done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. So guys, that is my take on the Titans title card from Titans, season one and two. As you can see, there is a lot going on behind the scenes in this template episode, and I'd love to do a live stream where I show you how to build this thing from scratch. It'd just take forever, so that's why I'd do it in a live stream, just to show you how I do it piece by piece. So keep an eye out for that, or if you do want that, just say down in the comments that you want that. But for now guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you're enjoying these title card template episodes. They're really just filler episodes until I get to the Iron Man suit up episode, which I've been working on a lot. So if I don't post an episode next week, that's because I'm still working on it. I want to get this effect looking pretty good, so I'm just going to have to ask for your patience. My God. But hey, if you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button, guys, because I really do appreciate it, and it does help out. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got two other episodes right over here, as well as 275 other ones up on the channel. I've got my social media stuff here for behind the scenes stuff and sneak peeks. So just follow me on those things there. You can also support us on Patreon if you like, or of course you can grab a membership on YouTube by clicking that join button below. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning.